Lester. Yeah, so typically in the past summers we haven't done like a whole lot of football work, but this year we've done like player leads on Mondays and then Wednesdays, you know, just a lot of like install and things like that so we're definitely a lot more prepared than we have in the past and then just everything like a lot of things up front are pretty similar from what they used to be but then like you have a lot of things i'm sure you guys saw in the spring game a lot of motions a lot of this and that and just started like skill guys getting more involved but i mean right now it's pretty important you know if we develop a good foundation now and you know we're working and we have skills and drills and really intent with those you know come camp on the 31st we can hit the ground running how important is it how important is it you know with guys like Cade and brendan develop that continuity with this new offense during the summertime yeah I, th I think it's super important you know just even that whole quarterback room right we got a lot of talented dudes in there and you know they're going to push each other to i mean they all want to play right and you know competition breeds excellence and you got three dudes who are super competitive and you know they want to play so i think you're going to see a lot of competition in that room and you know, a lot of growth in that room as well, right? Kate's a six-year senior. He, he's played a lot of football games. And you got Brennan, who's played a lot of football games this past year. And Marco's played one too. Like, Marco wants to play Brennan, you know, wants to start. They all want to play. So, like I said, like, there's a lot of competition in that room. And you know, I'm excited to see how this camp goes and just to see how much they push one another. How often do you guys work together with the quarterbacks? Yeah. Um, pretty often. So, whenever they're out there throwing or doing whatever, we're out there getting snaps too. And we have a bunch of center right now. So, it's like two out to get snaps here and there. Typically, it's a lot, like the younger guys will go out there and get some. But then Kate and I will make time to go out and get snaps as well. And then I'll get snaps with Marco, Brendan, you know, just to make sure, like, Whoever is in the game, like they they know what it feels like underneath the center. So, yeah. No jam fingers yet. No jam fingers yet. No, nope. <laughs> that, that's in the past. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, when you say player led, what who's what kind of organizing these things that you say maybe didn't happen as much last year? Yeah. So Cade, Cade, and then Jay, and just a few other guys. You know, mm -hmm. we talked about it in the past, but you know they really set it up, and you know he has like a whole script and things, and we're going through. It's not like super intense, like yeah. Just because we have like strength and conditioning and all that stuff, we're trying to make that our priority. But like we're getting out there, we're getting good reps. We're out there for probably 45 minutes, but you know we're making sure we're getting something out of it. And then like they'll do a lot more. They'll do like seven on, I think they'll do, and then the O line will go watch film or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I mean we're getting our reps in, and then we're getting out. Is that like later in the day, or is it right after your strength? Or how yes. does that work? Well, since we're doing two a week now, we don't do them on Mondays. We just have our scheduled ones, but it was on Mondays at, right after like that third lift. So for clarification purposes with when you guys are working with the rest of the offense, mm -hmm. is that kind of like a, like a walkthrough kind of situation where you're just going through stuff, to see how it feels to really the guys? Like what, is, what does that look like? It's a, it's a glorified walkthrough. I mean, we're taking live first steps and, you know, getting where we need to get to, but then after that, we'll settle down. It's, yeah, glorified walkthrough, I'd, I'd call it. How, how much is, have you seen Cade really, you know, after what happened last year, injured all year, kind of really want to get into this year and want to, you know, make this year special for this team? You know, I, I just say it starts with our strength and conditioning and speed work. You know, he just started getting into it a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> you see him out there in the ground starts winning and, you know, winning the reps with the semis. And, you know, I think that's just like, it says a lot to him and his competitive mind mindset and things like that. Like he wants to be out there, he wants to win. And, you know, no matter like what happens, like, yeah, like he's always gonna have knee pain. I mean, that's just the way it is, especially in your 60s. He's an old man now. <laughs> like, I mean, it's just gonna hurt, but the fact that he comes in day in and day out and wants to compete, this says a lot about him. And, you know, I'm really excited for him. What have been your impressions of Brendan so far? We haven't gotten to talk to him. Yeah, you know, very, very quiet kid, but you know, he yeah. comes in, he wants to work. Um, I, I mean, I like him a lot. Um, pretty athletic dude. It, him and Kate go back and forth with, you, you know, uh, winning reps in our strength and conditioning stuff, but hard working kid comes in every day, consistent. He's not one of those dudes who's gonna, you know, show play, miss meetings, like he shows up every day, and, you know. He's kind of what, you know, when you talk about an Iowa Hawkeye, he's kind of embodied that, and he's done a great job so far. What's